So I'm out here at a service call on this York package unit. Um, running into a few issues out here, so I'll just kind of go over every, everything I was seeing uh, for you guys. Um, got out here, and this main control board here had uh, a fault code of nine flashes. So I went to the schematic uh, on here to look for the diagnostic codes, and nine flashes is uh, ignition control locked out, ignition control failure, limit trip. Um, so next I kind of followed, and when I got out here, the inducer motor was just running, but no heat or anything. So you can clearly tell that something failed in the heating circuit. Um, so I got over here, and uh, I had basically something similar. I had a six flash on this board, and there's actually another diagnostic sheet here. Um, just telling me what was going on, and that six was ignition lockout, gas flow, gas pressure, uh, gas valve or flame sensor. Um, that one fully didn't actually go, so what I was running into, I kind of went through all the limits and everything as it was tripped out just to see if I could find anything that was quick and simple. Uh, I checked my flame roll out, everything looked good there. Checked my high limit, which is kind of tucked in here, and I didn't have anything tripped. Um, my pressure switch was closed like it was supposed to be. Uh, so then I basically recycled power just to get that fault code out of there see what I could get it to do. And um, I was actually running into the ignition board, just wasn't seeing uh, power. It was going through the sequence of operation, it just wasn't sending power to my gas valve. Um, so that's basically what I was seeing, it's something defective with this con uh, ignition control board. So I wrote that up, um, and since the system was a little older, it's for a restaurant, I know some of this restaurant equipment usually gets, you know, beat on a little bit harder than a lot of other, your typical package units, so um, I decided to go do a quick inspection of the heat exchanger, so um, I already pulled this panel off, I just wanted to make sure everything looked good, and I wasn't falling, finding anything else. Um, so on this one, I was seeing some cracks in these heat exchangers. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in here, but you can see on these uh, cracks, they actually extend a lot longer. They're big hairline cracks. Uh, I got one on that uh, loop, and then also this one's actually a lot longer. It's pretty much, it's, it goes quite a ways. Um, but yeah, so I have a couple cracks on this heat exchanger. So. I basically went over to the nameplate just to kind of get an idea of what what I was looking at as far as the system as far as age. Um, it's not crazy crazy old but it is uh, the one thing we always look for in our shop just to kind of let people know um, is that you know we got the R22 and yes it's not being manufactured anymore but um, it is still around but it's just so crazy expensive so we always kind of tell people you know, when you start seeing these R22 systems and we have some, some more of these catastrophic failure stuff, um, we just really give them the decision of what they want to do, if they want to go with a new system or if they just want to do the repair. Um, since this one we're going to be doing a heat exchanger and ignition board and with what we charge and everything, it's definitely going to be up there um, as far as pricing. So usually what we do is we give them a quote for system replacement or just going ahead and dumping the money into the unit. Uh, we'll see what they want to do. I mean, this restaurant that I'm at has actually been around for quite a while in this location. Um, so they may just want to um, replace the system. We've done work at multiple of their other uh, locations, and most of the time they typically want to just replace. So we'll see what they want to do. Um, leave it totally up to them. and kind of let the numbers do the talking for them as far as what they want to do um, but since this is a restaurant uh, a lot of times they have you know kitchen equipment stuff like that that puts off a lot of heat so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just uh, I'm not going to shut this thing completely off um, right now I have it shut off at the disconnect just while I was kind of looking over some stuff in the heat exchanger and everything um, but what I usually do is I'm going to disconnect my my w1 w2 which I already kind of did uh, I'm going to leave that disconnected and then I will leave a note for any other technician that comes out here in this system just stating all the issues I have found and also that 
Um, I disconnected that W1, W2 just so they kind of know what I what I did. Um, if someone else comes out to do the repair or anything like that, they'll, they'll have an idea of what's going on. Uh, another reason why I'm just disconnecting W1, W2 and leaving power uh, on to the system is if, like I said, some of these restaurants, they produce so much heat, some of them don't use the heat a ton. Um, I know this site does, but I know it'll produce a little bit of heat still and can kind of push it around with the fan. Uh, just leaving the fan set to like on and then uh, another thing is if they don't decide to do the repair uh, like, yeah, we're, we're kind of getting towards the tail end of winter here they might just decide to deal with it next year or later 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 this year um, and so that way they have the AC function still for this summer because the AC should still work just fine um, but yeah I'm going to go ahead and go over this with them and uh, just kind of want to go over this call I ran into um if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. And then uh, for anyone that wanted the information, uh, this is a York unit. The model number is a DF120N15P is in Paul 2AAA3C. Serial number is a NOH719054949.